Hello everyone, my name is Chase Arsenault. I'm on the McMaster Men's football team and I'm here to talk to you about how being a minority has affected my mental health. It's hard to open up and talk about mental health, at least for me, um, in this first part, but trying to uh, figure out someone's genuine intentions when you try to open up to them about your mental health is something that I struggle with greatly just because I'm not sure if you know, whoever I'm talking to even cares about the issues that I'm going through or if they're just trying to, you know, just gain information on me. Um, that's a constant struggle that I have to deal with mentally and it prevents me from sometimes getting the help I need and reaching out to the people that I need to reach out to. Personnellement, chez les personnes de couleur, c'est rare que on parle de santé mentale, qu'on parle de euh, dépression et tout. Donc, lorsque ce genre de choses arrive, qu'on qu a... Euh, euh, un manque dans nos vies ou qui a des problèmes personnels, euh, je pense que la majorité des personnes de couleur vont aller voir leurs amis proches, leurs euh, leur grands frères, leurs grandes sœurs, leurs leur, euh, cousins et tout, pour euh, aller vraiment chercher cette, euh, cette aide-là, parce que c'est des personnes qui ont probablement passé à travers les mêmes problèmes, mais vraiment, il n'y a pas, euh, moi, depuis que je suis jeune, il n'y a pas vraiment de personnes de de personnes de ressources euh, euh, implantées par le système que euh, les personnes de couleur peuvent aller voir donc euh, c'est ça. Being minority is like affected it quite a bit actually because like I don't know most people think like the challenges or like hardships we face is like you know when you see those videos online where like someone's going on a racist rant or something like we don't know that's not really like really doesn't happen like that or at least like People aren't really brave like that to do that. So most of the time, it's like little subtle stuff, you know. You go into a store and like they're moving a certain way, or like you walk in to anywhere you know, where there's not a lot of black people around. Like everyone has their guard up. Everyone's like aware of your like little every little movement you make. So like that stuff kind of sits with you, to be honest. Like it just kind of creates a little bit of anger and animosity towards everyone else. That's like honestly why. Like when a lot of like black people bond, like that's a big part of it to be honest. Like it could be a bunch of other things, but I guarantee with every single black friend group or whatever, like they've definitely bonded over stuff like that before. I feel like sometimes this is stigma that been going on that we don't we don't take advantage and we don't take a, a real idea on it and it's about the minority, how it affects mental health. And sometimes some stuff that I've been to is is it was always for me to do harder than the white men beside me because it would get it easy and us sometimes we come from a, a struggle neighborhood and where we see a lot of stuff that other people didn't went to and sometimes we just had to do more in the effect on mental health. I feel like sometimes it's not something that we, we take advantage to talk about somebody like a counselor or somebody that can also actually can be around you. Uh, you could be a black man too and I feel like that's something that we need to change as a as a community and provoke change. And I'm the first one to say it. And I, I'm trying to bring all my brothers around to make sure that we we uh, provoke change and, and change the stigma about minority and mental health is real. And some people actually go to depression because of those type of stuff. And if we can collide together and actually be a team, uh, there's always something that could bring success to us as successful black men that can be in the future.